Hey guys, it's Kay. I hope you're all well. Now, if you're like me and you've got the NVIDIA Shield, you'll see you've got a new update available. And it's the Shield Experience version 8.21. Now this update is available for the Shield 2017 version and the Shield 2019 version. Now if you don't get this upgrade message, you can of course go to your settings and click on Device Preferences, click on About, System Upgrade and finally check for Upgrade. And you should see it there. So guys, without further ado, let's see what's new in the Shield update. If you're new to the channel and you want to stay up to date with the latest tech tutorials, reviews and unboxings, I do everything including Fire Stick, Raspberry Pi and Android TV tips and tricks. So subscribe and hit the notification button. So what's new in the Shield Experience update? In addition to security updates and bug fixes, the latest upgrade adds the following enhancements. We're getting IR power control for projector displays. Additionally, we're getting IR power volume control for the following brands. So these were previously unsupported and now are. Now the only one I recognize on this list is Sennheiser, which is a well-known brand here. Now we're also getting an upgrade to the 2019 Shield Remote. We're getting double tap and long press actions to customize the menu bar. And some of the new options include switch input, start daydream and more. Now these features are also available on the Shield TV Remote app, which is available on your mobile phone. It's a great little app and it can replace your remote control if you lose it. And it does have some features that the actual physical remote doesn't have. Now, 2019 Shield TV Pro adds 60 frames per second AI upscaling. Now, the upscaling support for 60 frames per second content lets you watch live sports, 60 frames per second YouTube content and Twitch streams with amazing AI upscaled clarity. Now, it is coming soon for GeForce Now and it requires a September 2020 NVIDIA Games update. So do remember to update. Now, they've also added HBO Max, which wasn't originally available. So that's tons of more content to watch. They've also added some new and upgraded apps, including Peacock, Masterclass, Redbox, and it looks like we've got a shed load of new games, including Shadowgun War Games, and on GeForce Now we've got Hyperscape, Death Standing, Rocket League, and cool Rainbow Six Siege. And we've also got Just Cause 4 Reloaded, Two Point Hospital. So that's all the new games. Other enhancements include Android Security Patch Level up to June 2020, and we get support for SMB version 3 for faster and more secure connections to Shield over a local network. Restores surround sound audio while casting and allows users to grant write access to NAS from installed apps. We get added ability to convert local HDR video content to SDR displays. Adds option to disable volume lowering when OK Google is detected on a Google Home device. And we get Restores Bluetooth LDAC support for supported headphones. OK guys, so that is the whole upgrade. So in summary, they added some apps and a whole load of new games. We got improved AI upscaling for the Shield TV Pro. And we got an upgrade for the remote with some additional features. And we got support for more projectors and displays, including power and volume control. Okay guys, I'm gonna download and upgrade my Shield TV. Now normally this shouldn't take more than five minutes to install and upgrade. And that's it guys, I've upgraded to the Shield Experience 8.21. So if we head on over to the settings and check the version, you can see I'm on the latest version, 8.21. So I'll continue to test this version and let you know if I have any issues. Anyway guys, if you found this video helpful, give us a like and maybe even a subscribe. And I'll see you all in the next one.